This is one of the coolest cars I've ever seen, and there's only one in the world. I'm gonna be the first person to ever drive it in public. This is the Cupra Dark Rebel. The grannies love it. Let's just start off with how it looks. The first thing that you notice, apart from the shape, is the color, right? The color is called Mercury Drop, and it's seven different layers of paint and chrome. But what's super cool about this color is that it actually lets light pass through it. So you see these lights? This is one of the three light configurations because this car has three drive modes. The first is called Exponential Square. It's kind of like the base, kind of raw mode. But then what you can do is you can press a button and turn this into Exponential Cube, which is kind of like the race mode. So now you'll see lights turn off, and then they kind of reset recalibrate a little bit and now you have them like hollow here right the third mode is exponential infinite and what that is is basically like the metaverse mode so this car because it was designed digitally it all started in like a digital format and then it was created into a physical world going to the front cooper logo is illuminated i learned a new word today because this is a keel I've never used the word keel in my entire life. It's supposed to be like a sailboat keel. Um, that's pretty much like the blade that goes underneath the boat. And this is in the front and you'll see in the back. So it kind of just centers, it's like, like a spine of the car. And what's cool is that the glass piece transitions seamlessly into the actual paint. Look at the intakes. They're not really even intakes, they're just kind of like arrows. You can literally see right through the car. Okay, let's continue with the wheels because these wheels are super, super unique very cupra right then you have like this kind of hard plastic piece this kind of metallic piece it's all very aerodynamic speaking of the keel in the middle you have something similar going on on the side this is also illuminated right now you see how it kind of like magnifies but then it kind of like fades away i like that what we all like on this channel are hidden doors so you see right here there's like two different logos if we press this one like that there you go, fully electric, so you just pop it in, you charge it, and that's it. In theory, this car is supposed to do zero to 100 in under four seconds. It's supposed to have 400 horsepower. So uh, we're not gonna put it to that speed uh, or any kind of speed remotely close to that at all today, but it's electric and it's got power. There you go, closed. On the side, in general, this is when you can kind of appreciate, this car is like a shorter, sportier shooting brake, like electrified and it's a pretty unique shape. On the back, everything also very angular and aggressive, very sporty. You got the tails at the top, the Cooper logo, all in red going end to end. You got that keel finishing off in the back. Rear diffuser is gigantic. And you can just kind of tell this car is special. Like we're in the middle of Sitges in like the boardwalk area and everyone is just like stopping, taking photos, it just kind of uh, catches the eye. What you have, Underneath this piece, actually that's pretty cool, you get a little bit of a sneak peek of the inside. But what you have under this piece is your luggage. There you go, it's kind of like a GT car. You grab this to go traveling on short distances. That's pretty cool. I also like the little fins here. Again, a little ode to the spine, the sailboat keels. The whole point, the whole reason why we're here is to drive the car. So let's actually get this thing going. Press that like this. In theory, it'll open automatically. So, the car with the doors closed is 1.3 meters tall. That's very, very short. With the doors open, it's 2.2 meters tall. It goes from like Hasbula to Shaquille O'Neal with one door. Take a look at the inside. Inside, before I hop in, I want to show you like they have this nice little illuminated glass piece on the side with like kind of ribs going on. The seat is made out of like a thick rubber illuminated logo in the middle. The steering wheel also has this illuminated stripe on every side. There's a way to do this to protect the car. There you go. I think Angel is happy. Bien? Yeah. Remember, you guys remember last time? Aquí? Like that.
All right. We're in. <laughs> he was super concerned with how I was going to get inside. But anyways, now we learn. The difference between last time and now is that some of these buttons actually work now. So if I tap this, the steering wheel actually moves. And if I want to move, for example, the pedals, if I'm, if I'm a little bit shorter, look at that. Yeah, that makes a difference. So yeah, look, the pieces inside are actually moving now. Whoa, okay. You have this huge spine, and this is 3D printed with the latest metal 3D printing technology. That is like, it feels like stone, but it's metal. They literally melt it, and it's just kind of the same way they do 3D printing with plastic, they do it with metal, which is pretty badass. And right here on the tip, you have the gear selector, which I will be using in just a second. Glass, kind of metal, rubber. The seats are actually 90% bamboo, because of course, when we talk about the future, we need to talk about sustainability to make sure we're being kind to the planet. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, electric car, Cooper is making an effort to be sustainable. So I'm done with that too. So on the steering wheel, that right there is a toggle. Right now, this is an exponential squared, which don't forget is kind of like the comfort mode. And if I press it and toggle it like that, this will go into cubed. It's yellow. And then if I then put it into the next setting, That'll go into infinite, which is the metaverse mode. There's the infinity logo. That right there is the main screen. It's kind of like your gauge cluster. And it's very digital. It has like these kind of like little avatars. And that is the map of Barcelona. You can either close the door with a little, uh, little button over there, or you can just press this right there like this. That one, sorry. There it is. Automatic, very comfortable. And yeah, look, I mean, this is a concept car, so it's not meant to be, uh, for extreme comfort. It's it's just cool. Seats are a little bit hard. All right, we're off. I love this steering wheel, man. This is awesome. It just feels like video gamey with all the lights. There you go, of course eye-catching car but yeah look how much space you have inside i mean it's electric so there's no motor in the front or anything and you know obviously top speed is like 15 kilometers an hour the future is now <laughs> cruising down sieges and that's about as far as we're gonna go let me see just to slow it down it's always tricky to drive concept cars Almost broke the speed of sound there. What do you guys think? I mean, look, it's a concept car. Wasn't even supposed to drive, but they let me drive it for about 100, 200 meters. So that's good enough for me. What do you guys think? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.